Michon, Lieutenant Governor of British Columbia. Your Honor, please. Well, good morning. Wonderful to see so many young people here. That's what it is about. Mr. Muhammad of New Islam, President, Mother Language Lovers of the World Society. Ms. Mary Martin, Acting Mayor of Surrey. Mr. John Albeck, Member of Parliament for Cloverdale Langley. Mr. Abdus Salam, Founder, Mother Language Lovers of the World. Students, teachers, families, and friends. I was thrilled to get this invitation to join you this morning for this international and intercultural celebration of mother languages. I would like to start by acknowledging with respect the long history, the wisdom, and the traditions of the Simiamu, Katsi, and Kwantlen First Nations on whose traditional lands we gather to celebrate language. This is a most appropriate setting as many of British Columbia's First Nations are struggling at the moment to assure the continuation of their languages and culture. And I would like to thank the drummers for getting us started in a good way. There's no better day than a day in which you learn something new. And today is just such a day for me because I knew nothing about this organization or the fact that February 21st was International Mother Language Day. I knew it was my granddaughter's birthday, <laughs> but now she has even more reason, we have more reason to celebrate. And I, I was ashamed to note that I didn't know about the hard work and the vision of Rafael Islam that led to the 21st of February being recognized at the gathering of the annual General Conference of UNESCO on, on the 17th of November, 1999. What an accomplishment. That doesn't happen without a lot of hard work. And now here we are, as you say, almost 20 years down the road, celebrations of language and biodiversity are becoming more vibrant and more widespread. In the last year, during 2017, our uh, sesquicentennial across Canada, in British Columbia, I visited with 150 schools and I talked to them about our history, the history of Canada, and how we evolved across the nation. And I, I like to say that we're a nation mostly founded with conversation rather than confrontation. And we do, we talk quite a lot. In fact, I think it took us from 1880 to 1980 to have our national anthem declared the national anthem. So it's a good thing. We talk a lot in Canada. We haven't had a lot of wars fought on our soils. And just like our Governor General said, it is so important. The more we can communicate and learn from one another and share the richness of our cultures, the more we all benefit. And the successful completion of, I just read about, the Lingua Aqua, Canada's first audiovisual mother language public art project, and it's right here in Bear Creek Park. Another terrific accomplishment by a small group of passionate people. I don't imagine your numbers are large yet, but obviously a lot of passion, and it's wonderful. The symbolism of water to create an immersive sonic environment as a replica of the place where we all are first introduced, we first experience sound and language is so appropriate. And what a wonderful way to build better communication between various ethnic communities and as we better understand our own history and evolution, we come to appreciate and value one another. And I was telling my driver today uh, and my aide de camp that uh, I have a, a first neighbor's neighbor at home, a very good friend, and at 65, he went to learn his, his own mother language. Uh, it has been lost and now he is so proud, he's in his 70s, that he can teach on the reserve all the young people their language. So it, it, it is important, it's so important that we understand our own language and our own roots and where we come from so that we can share this with others. Congratulations to the organizer of, to, organizers of today's gathering and to those who have worked so hard to see 
this delicate seed, which has been planted nearly 20 years ago, blossom into this wonderful reality. Thank you, everybody who's here today, and especially to the children. Welcome and thank you for coming.